Next, we're going to take a look at Infor ERP Visual Project A and B functionality. This is a layer that you can run on top of the visual manufacturing tool set, and it gives Project and A and D customers the ability to track work breakdown structures and cost by work breakdown structure and different cost codes, and do revenue recognition, and milestone billing. So we're just going to take a quick look and start with creating an estimate for a project. Here you can see where we've developed the WBS structure, the work breakdown structure, the different tasks within that work breakdown structure. And all of that is laid out in this plan. The nice thing about it is if we go and look at what the project in whole looks like, it's designed to look just like the manufacturing window for work orders in visual. So it's the same type of format but here we can see the project in full and then each of the individual work breakdown structures along with the tasks for those WBS codes along the way. Likewise, and in this case, this particular WBS code is a work order that gets fabricated as part of this project. And we can look at what that looks like. And now we can see that this is a work order with work instructions and work resources along with materials in the dark green that are used within those structures, whether they are purchased or fabricated. Once we have a project, we can look in the project summary. And this window is nice because I can look at an individual project or I can look at multiple projects or different types of projects or multiple projects for a specific customer in whole. Uh, but here we're just going to look at a single project and we have a choice of what we want to look at in summary view of those projects. I can look at one of these like a budget spread so I can see my budget spread across my calendar so I can see which months my budgeted amounts are for those individual tasks and work breakdown structures in the project. I can choose to look at any one of these. If I wanted to look at actuals, for example, I can either add it to my budget spread or separate it from the budget spread. So I'm only looking at my actual information. And of course, I can see budget variance, cost variance, and scheduled variance. I can look at all of this at once if I want. It just depends on how much I want to dig into this particular uh, project. I also have the ability to look at the status of the project. So now we're looking at a status view so I could see where things are coming from, where they are. If I want to drill into specific uh, parts of the project, for example, here's a work order that we were looking at from the estimate a little bit earlier. So now I can see how that work order is actually progressing. And now I can see I have statuses with these colored bars going across my materials. So I can get an idea that this project is in process. If I wanted to look at costs just like I would normally, I can look at the actual costs versus the estimated cost for this individual work order, which is a WBS code within the entire project, but it's pulling them all together. So what we're looking at is a list of all of the jobs and all of the work orders associated with that one project all in one bucket. 